making fat. Raise your glass and toast to a surprising truth. Alcohol, the seemingly innocent beverage with zero sugar calories, can actually make you fat. Yes, it's true. So how exactly does alcohol contribute to weight gain? Here are 10 ways that alcohol can pack on pounds. Imagine this, you're at a social gathering sipping on your favorite alcoholic beverage, and as the alcohol enters your bloodstream, it starts to disrupt the balance of a multitude of hormones in your body, many of which can contribute to weight gain. To begin with, alcohol causes an increase in estrogen levels, which is known to promote fat storage, typically seen on the hips, breasts, and buttocks. Furthermore, our body's natural production of human growth hormone and testosterone decreases under the influence of alcohol, which can then lead to increased fat storage and decreased muscle tone. Number three, as well, the production of cortisol, the stress hormone, increases. The changes in these hormones lead to increased fat storage, especially in the abdominal area, which we call visceral obesity. That's human growth hormone decrease, testosterone decrease, and cortisol increase, all lead to what we call visceral obesity. This is the type of fat that is extremely unhealthy and is, asso is associated with diabetes, hypertension, and possibly even Alzheimer's. There's more, number four and five. Alcohol also affects the gut hormones like leptin, which signals our brain that we're full, and ghrelin, that gremlin that growls in our stomach, urging us to eat more. Chronic alcohol intake can disrupt the function of these hormones, meaning that we'll, we feel hungrier when, than we actually are, and never actually feel full, even when we actually are. Six, perhaps the most important impact is how alcohol affects insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Insulin resistance promoted by alcohol, just like sugar, can lead to high circulating insulin levels, which in turn stimulates fat storage, especially in the abdominal area. So although alcohol may not contain calories, the excessive consumption of this drug which is essentially the byproducts of fermented sugar, cause many of the same consequences as if you were drinking a bottle of sugar. That is insulin resistance and quick weight gain without the calories. Now that was six ways, but there's even more. Number seven, I've just talked about how alcohol contributes to disrupting our hormones so that we store fat. It can also impair our body's ability to burn fat that we already have. When we consume alcohol, our liver prioritizes it as a toxin that needs to be metabolized and eliminated from our body. As a result, our liver shifts its focus away from metabolizing fat, leading to the accumulation of fatty acids in our bloodstream and in our liver. This not only hinders our body's ability to burn existing fat, but also promotes the storage of additional fat. I talk more about this in my video about fatty liver and cirrhosis. Number eight. Now let's look at what happens to our choice of foods when we drink, when we're drunk. Let's be honest. Few of us end up eating too much yogurt or lentils when we're drinking. No, we eat the sugary, fatty foods that are most easily accessible and satisfying in the moment. This is because alcohol affects the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. And under its influence, this excess dopamine from alcohol then makes food become more appealing and yes, even more intoxicating. Alcohol hijacks our brain reward system as well as our willpower so that we just can't stop eating even when we're full. Think beer nuts, chips, fries, and late night pizza on a booze binge. Number nine. Then there's the morning after. Once the effects of alcohol wear off, our brain experiences a crash. Feelings of sadness, anxiety, shakes, or sweats. As part of this withdrawal with that morning after is the low sugar crash, 
the hypoglycemic need for sugar, which results in more cravings for sugary and processed foods, all high in calories. Finally, 10. Alcohol disrupts our sleep patterns. Did you know that poor sleep is strongly linked to weight gain? So how does alcohol affect sleep? Alcohol affects the circadian rhythms of our body, it disrupts the production of melatonin, and it decreases the quality of our sleep. Poor sleep then affects ghrelin and leptin levels and the cortisol stress hormone, as mentioned earlier, which all further contribute to more weight gain. Poor sleep also contributes to insulin resistance and disrupted glucose metabolism, which can further sabotage weight loss efforts. So those are the 10 ways that alcohol can make you fat. Now, if you're looking to maintain or lose weight, this might be the time to rethink your relationship with alcohol. By understanding the negative effects it has on our hormones, like the 10 ways that it can affect our hormones, the fat metabolism, our neurochemistry, our sleep, we can then make informed decisions to minimize or eliminate alcohol. Now, for those of you who can tolerate just one glass of beer or wine at an evening meal, fine, you might get away with drinking with no weight consequences. But for many of us, abstaining from alcohol altogether may be the most powerful tool in our weight management journey. By the way, if you suffer from food addiction or have had bariatric surgery, I would especially encourage you to stop drinking alcohol. Isn't it time to break free from the calorie-free illusion of alcohol and instead make a commitment to prioritizing your health? So take the pledge today and say no to alcohol and yes to a safer you. Thank you.